in my personal world. Recently, I thought about why is Africa in shambles? Why is Asia so divided between so many different countries? And I realized that within five seconds, the answer is the answer. If Asia was to come all together, its land mass, population, GDP would greatly expand that of the U.S. and the next highest potential benefactor, which would be Africa. Africa would be number two in size of land and uh, overall population so because blacks or Asian might be a minority in their country where actually a majority of land space population etc and that is why they divide us look at how Russia is defending European or another country's minority Russian speakers because they face persecution. Minorities in America face great per, uh, persecution on the daily level, not just police brutality or higher rates on loans pretty much everything in life. The fact is that they don't want a global power that would greatly expand minority or developing countries influence while destroying America's number one place in the world obtained after one war two and all the major superpowers were left in shambles besides United States and Russia. So if we really want to change all this or you really want to protect minorities it has to be a new world order new world order countries that are rich in resources people population land should be able to extract this and emerge in a modern day society you know monopolies the US government, Europe, all the great agencies a monopoly on IFL and other large national and international companies that control the world. One person control a vast majority of the wealth compared to the middle and the lower class of the ninety nine percent yes we should be inclusive of everyone but I wonder why are we still stuck in ideas of monetary gains instead of social political health changes that better society instead of put us against one another put us against one another for one person to have more one person has to laugh, have less and we have so much is it yours? Is it the Lord's? Or is it everyone's? Does everyone contribute a small part in the world and deserves the right to life, uh, life, happiness, and freedom? I might just say that wrong because I'm a little messed up, but you get the point. We should change. Certain countries have to change. A united Africa would be a powerful, standing Africa, which with the right investments and looking out for the little people too. Like, I would say, social society or a government of the people, not a democracy. Like, we have that gets entrenched with old ideas and corporate interests, but society for the people and protects is minority people everywhere would be much safer it's inter internally internally and also would be able to expand 
a greater influence in the world. It's a dream I came up with yesterday while going through a lot. I said for that people in America and all across the world are prosecuted, killed, abused by all systems, financial, hospital, whether well, it's medical, and just uh, exposed to the worst possible, the worst possible solutions that are available. Maybe one day a United Africa could liberate and enslave America, Moses and his people, instead of just looking at the children of him.